Hey y'all, Irig Sky here. Welcome back to my studio and to another video. Now today I'm going to talk about the Sony ZV-E10. That's Zulu Victor Echo 1.0. So what are my thoughts after using it for a few days? Is it a good camera? Is it a proper Sony Alpha camera? Well, these are my thoughts. Number one, it comes in a variety of different colors. I got white so I can differentiate it visually from my a7R4, but uh, it's not a full frame camera. Even though you can see here, I do have a full frame lens on it. I've got the Sony G Master 16 to 35 millimeter. So you can use full frame lenses on it. And that's what I'm doing. I use it for my, for my live streaming with the A10 Mini Pro. And see, there's my virtual set over there. So as a, uh, as a live streaming camera, it's exceptional. Now, if you don't have, if, and if you're out in the field and you're doing face on video, the beauty of it is that that'll flip forward. So you've got a forward facing uh, LCD option, which is super nice. It's got a, a headphone or a microphone input. You can see here, I'm using the Rode uh, Wireless Go. And then of course it's got USB-C as in Charlie for the power source so I can keep it under power while I'm live streaming. And this also got micro HDMI, and it does have a headphone jack there as well. One of the cool things about this camera, it has the integrated mic, which check out my separate video where I demonstrate the integrated mic's quality of the ZV-E10. But it's a very sweet package. Now, one thing that I would, this right here, this S and Q button beside the record button, that's kind of wonky how they put that there, but I got used to it. But if you ever inadvertently go into S and Q mode, it's because you push that instead of the record button. I think that's an opportunity for improvement. This does use the older style NP FW50 battery, which is fine. Again, I'm using it for live streaming, so I don't need the excessive amount of battery life because I'm going to be using it while I've got it plugged into the HDMI. It's only got one SD card slot, which is fine. Obviously, this is an APS-C camera, Although you can use full frame lenses, it's not gonna run in full frame. It's gonna have the cropped, uh, the cropped effect. So this 16 to 35 doesn't behave like a 16 by 35. It actually appears to be a little bit more zoomed in when you use it. So yeah, just a good build quality. I like the quality of the doors. I mean, for an entry level camera, Sony did an incredible job with this. Now for people that, you know, maybe, they want to get into the Sony Alpha universe, but they don't want to go full frame yet. This is a great gateway camera. You know, this is something you could get. You could buy FE lenses, which are full frame lenses like this one. And you could start, uh, you know, accumulating full frame lenses. And if you wanted to go full frame in the future, you would already have the lenses, which is nice. But in my case, a secondary camera for primarily for, uh, for my YouTube live streams. It's awesome, very good quality. Video quality in 4K from this sucker is great. I haven't, at the time of filming this, I haven't tested the still photo capabilities, but that's not my intended use case. I've got my A7R4 for stills. But, I mean, this right here, I would not expect it to be a slouch with in the still photo department. I mean, it's a Sony Alpha camera. They've done things right with this, if you have a zoom lens, this right here will zoom in and out. If you have power zoom in your lens, which obviously this one isn't, but that's kind of a cool feature. And for people that are doing unboxings and reviews, this has a, uh, whoa, I just knocked my tripod, man. Uh, this has a, what they, I think they call it the product showcase feature, which will, uh, you know, which will always keep the, the product uh, properly focused, which is kind of neat. And the ability to, use the integrated mic, which is a step above a standard camera's integrated mic, to have that capability, but also having the microphone input to add something a little bit higher end if you want to. I mean, it's Sony did not slouch when they created the, uh, the ZV-E10. I mean, you've got a lot of, a lot of functionality in a, and again, that's the thing, tiny package. Look at how small that is. And it comes in black too. I got the I got the white, like I said, I just want it to visually stand out for my A7R4, which is over there. But yeah, it's it's a it's a great camera, not just an entry-level camera, 
But, you know, if somebody's got full frame like I do, if you have situations where you want to have multiple camera angles for video, you know, that's a great use case for this. And again, being so small and so lightweight, it's easy to throw into the camera bag along with other uh, cameras and lenses. So it's not, it's not a, uh, actually it was so light when it arrived, I thought they forgot to put the camera in the box. <laughs> so it's, it's that light. I mean, it really is, but yeah, great, great job, Sony. The, the one thing I would like to see in a more current revision, I would like to see this with the same type of batteries that the, uh, that the full frame A7R4 uses. Obviously those last a lot longer, but again, with this being APS-C, you can still from that MPFW50 battery, still get good battery life. But again, for me, live streaming, this is perfect. I can, you know, use USB-C. And I'm glad they used USB-C instead of micro USB. Because I mean, pretty much all my cables now are USB-C. So that's nice they got that. And then the micro HDMI is nice. I mean, they've, they, put, uh, they put a lot of thought into the design of this. And being able to get it in that white color, yeah, like I said, you can get it in black as well, but I thought the white kind of looked cool. You know, you don't normally think of a of a camera being a white color like that, but it looks cool. If you were considering the the uh, lens included, you know, the point and shoot or the you know the really pocketable camera, which is similar to this, was it ZV one hundred? You probably want to go with this if you plan to maybe get a full frame or another Sony Alpha in the future because it uses the same Sony FE or Sony uh, E lenses, you know, the APS-C or the full frame lenses. But again, if you use full frame lenses, you got the crop factor. It's not, it's not true full frame. So, and that's what I'm doing here. I've got the 16 to 35 FE, which is a full frame G Master lens, but it's, you know, it's cropping it. It's giving more of a zoomed in look. Build quality is nice. It does come with a neck strap. I didn't put that on. Again, I'm using this for, for live streaming. But the video quality during my live streams is exceptional. You know, Sony has done an exceptional job with this camera. For the price, you know, you, it's hard to beat. And the fact that I am in, that I've been in the Sony Alpha ecosystem for many years means I've got a ton of, of Sony lenses that I can use with this. So it's it's a uh, it's a good camera. It looks nice too. One thing I did want to mention though, I use an IR infrared remote for my uh, I don't have it over here. I was going to grab it for my Sony A7R4, but I don't think infrared works with this. I think I'd have to use a uh, a Bluetooth remote, and that's probably something I'm going to pick up. I know I can pair it with my phone and use Imaging Edge, but it's kind of nice having a dedicated remote. So that that's one thing worth mentioning. Check to make sure, but I haven't found how to, um, you know, how to use an infrared remote with this. I, I'm not sure if it's possible. There's a little light on the front. That's the recording indicator light. And I don't think it has, let's see, let's look at the front of this A7R4. But that has that too. It, it, you can see it's hidden right there. It almost seems like it should be able to use it, be able to be controlled by an infrared remote. I'm going to have to research that more. If you know, comment below and tell me. But is this a good camera coming from the opinion of someone that's owned and still owns multiple Sony Alpha cameras? Oh, without a doubt. And again, the fact that it's APS-C, don't let you think, don't, don't assume that it means it's inferior because it doesn't. I mean, if you're doing primarily video, this is probably, in my opinion, just as good of an option as the uh, as the full frame Sony Alpha cameras. Now, obviously, with those you're going to get some more, uh, especially with people in that, you're going to get some more uh, color in the in the skin tones and all that's going to look more realistic. But this is no slouch. Check out my videos and see it in action for yourself. And if you're shopping for this camera, expand this video's description and then click the link there. You can find the camera and various accessories. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll try to respond within an upcoming video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.
Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.